My name is Sarah Peter Indombera Amai. I am the third born of the patient Ezina Irasa. She's my mom. I'm the third born. I was born in 1950 in Western Kenya at a place known as Vumbo, Tiriki. We buried our father on 20th of September this year and on 28th we decided to come with my mom from home to this end of Nakuru so that we can stay with her since she, was, she could not be left home alone. We stayed with her for one week. We went to church. She greeted the church members the first Sunday and the next Sunday before it could reach next Sunday, on Saturday, she was just eating lunch with her great-grandchildren and they realized that she was not eating because she stopped eating abruptly. They went close to her. They had to hit her back, her neck, to see if there, something had been stuck in the neck. But they found that there was nothing wrong with the eating system. So they decided to rush her to a nearby dispensary where the nurses examined her from the high blood pressure and the, the heartbeat plus the diabetes and she was found to be in order. All those were okay. So the nurses at the dispensary decided to release her to us back because they had nothing to do with her. We rushed her here from our residence, bearing in mind that at the Provincial General Hospital, doctors were on strike by then. That was on 7th October this year. When we arrived here, we were received well by Dr. Thiren Parekh, who took her inside the cameras to see what was wrong with her and he discovered there was a clotage of blood on the brain. And he accepted her as an inpatient from that day. She stayed in the inpatient for five days in the ICU. And after five days, she was transferred to the general ward where she stayed for another seven days. After seven days, she was able <clears throat> now to eat by herself. It is at that juncture when I requested the doctor to release her because of the bill was growing high and I was worried that I might not be able to settle it. So the doctor agreed to release her, but according to the regulations of the hospital, I was entitled to clear the bill first before she could be released. I have done my best running up and down to see if I can get money and I managed to get about 180 in one and a half months only and that was the climax I could make. So that's why I had to decide to go back to the National Hospital Insurance who are her insurers to see if they could assist. And uh, today they have accepted to assist us. So my mom was 104 years. She was born in 1913. And we came to learn that it was such a, a very good step that we had taken by insuring her with the National Hospital Insurance Fund, which covers all the ages of human beings, unlike other insurance enterprises which does not accept this kind of age. And uh, after approaching the Nakuru office, the National Hospital Insurance Fund have agreed to pay part of the bill, which is 324,000. And I had already paid 180,000 part of that bill because it was totaling to over 500,000. I therefore, plea with my colleagues, Kenyans. Do not be afraid to insure your parents, even if they are how old. And any other person should take this cover so that whenever you have 
a problem on the side of medication, you don't have to carry the whole burden on your shoulders. The National Hospital Insurance Fund does assist a lot and they make you relieved if you have taken the cover and you pay in time as well not only to take and delay payments thank you god bless you visit our website nhif branch or huduma center nhif afia yetu bima yetu